Mummy, where are you? I can't see a thing in this high grass. Come on, Mummy. Don't you hear my meow? I guess she didn't. But I managed to call the forest cats. Dear forest cats, have you seen my mummy? You haven't? She's not in the forest. I bet you don't even know what she looks like. I can hear her. But where is she? Here she is. Mummy, where have you been? Pay attention, forest cats. My mummy's all white. Let's go, my little kitty. Where are you now? Today I will tell you and our human friends about cats. Specifically about domestic cats, such as ourselves, and about the wild ones such as the ones watching us from the forest. They are not the same as us. Soon you'll know everything, but for now, listen. OK, I'm listening. Let's start from the beginning. All cats are born the same way as were you, your brother and sister. Do you remember? I don't remember my birth at all. Otherwise, I would have thought that one morning I just woke up being a kitten. No, no, everyone had to be born. All right then, you're always right, Mummy. After that, I fed you with my mother's milk until the time you could eat solid food. When kittens are born, for some time they start off blind. No wonder I don't remember anything. I couldn't even see it. Well, and when you got bigger and stronger, you started running away from your mum. Mummy, why have you stopped talking? I smell danger. Hurry, you must hide. Oh, Mummy, what is this monster? Hide, it's a huge predatory bird. What does predatory mean? I told you to hide. Predatory means he wants to catch kittens who don't listen to their mummy. Yikes! That's me! Go catch me! I'm running to you! Okay, come on. I don't think he saw us. I guess it's because I was listening to you, right? Now, maybe we'll have peace while I tell my story. A long time ago, all cats lived wild in nature, like other animals. Later, humans decided to let some cats live with them and became domesticated cats, like the two of us. Not all the cats liked living with humans. Those that didn't became wild again, like your friends from the forest. Here, you can see a wild cat trying to catch a frog. Mommy, where are you going? I'm just going to take a peek to observe how the wild cats live, so I can tell you about it. Wild cats eat what they catch, but domestic cats get food from humans. We don't have to hunt anymore. Are you saying I shouldn't catch everything that's moving? But I like it so much! No! It's just that we don't have to catch things in order to eat. We can chase things just for fun. This wild cat lives all alone. She must find some hideout against bad weather and predators without any help. 
No one will help her. Even when she meets another cat, there's no assurance they'll become friends. She can do whatever she wants. The only thing she cares about is her freedom. Aren't wild cats lonely? Well, that's the nature of cats. They like to go anywhere they want, don't worry about anyone, and only do what they like. When danger is close, they must take care for themselves. But they like it. For cats, everything is just a game. What I like the most is to be a kitten. And why do we live with humans? Because we enjoy the company of humans, and humans like cats. Humans scratch us behind our ears, they feed us yummy food, and they let us enjoy our freedom. And the wild ones enjoy their life in the wilderness, the struggle to survive, and the pleasure of hunting. Mummy, does it mean that the wild cats are more brave than we are? Maybe somebody thinks so, but we don't care. We only do whatever we want. Cats always know what to do. They're so agile and flexible that we're able to quickly get out of any trouble. But some predators can catch them, right? Like the bird which almost got me. That's because you're just a little kitten. After you've learned all the cat tricks, it'll be hard for them to get you. Look here, two wild cats are meeting. They tease each other for a bit, and then they go their separate ways. For a cat, exploring is best done alone. There are so many interesting things around. It is best to be alone when hunting for mice or voles. A cat does not want to be distracted and have anyone scare away his prey. When we see prey, we are consumed by a hunting passion. Mummy, what's a hunting passion? You know that feeling well. It's when you see something is moving, maybe in the grass, and all you want is to catch it. You're right. I do know it. Sometimes I even try to catch blades of grass moving in the wind. Some things run so fast, I don't even have time to look at them. Some animals don't like our passion for hunting at all. They try to stay away from us as much as possible. Aren't those little thingies afraid when we hunt them? Maybe they are, but we like it anyway. It's one of nature's rules. Everyone has a talent for something, and if they master that skill, they might not have to be afraid that they'll be caught by someone else. Mummy, I don't get it. Well, for example, those little creatures we are hunting can hide in small holes through which cats don't fit. When other animals watch us, they wonder why we tried to get the mouse in the first place. They have no idea how much fun it is for us. If our first hunt is not successful, we always find something else to hunt. And the little ones have peace for a while. Mummy, are the wild cats alone all the time? Don't they have any friends? Well, if they happen to meet a friendly cat, they can become friends. However, cats stay in their hideouts most of the day and don't want to let anyone else inside. That's right, Mummy. I don't wander too far during the day. I prefer to go for a hunt at night. That's true, because cats are mainly nocturnal creatures. During the day, they sleep and hide in their lair. At night, we feel safer. When it's totally dark, we're completely quiet and we can move about unnoticed. Mummy, leave the forest and come back to me. I think 
I've had enough for today. Well, it's time to finish my little talk about the life of a cat. And Mum, where is my brother and sister? I haven't seen them all day. Oh, that reminds me. I haven't seen them either. I bet they're hiding in that tall grass so humans won't see them. Hooray! Here is my brother! And my sis! She seems to be afraid all the time. She must learn that we only have to be careful. Hey sis, you don't have to be afraid of people. They like us. She ran away anyway. Don't worry. At the end she will come to us, like every day. And one day she'll stop being afraid. She may even turn into a wild cat. She said she doesn't know what the wild cat is. That's because she wasn't listening. But I know, so I'll tell her everything. That will be nice of you. Maybe then she'll understand what it means to become a wild cat. It's getting dark. It's going to be night soon. And I can practice my hunting passion. Where did everyone go? There they are. I'm running to you. I'll just say goodbye to everyone. We are off to our hunt, but just for the night, in the morning, we will return to our human companions. To be a cat means to have the most fun in the world. Doesn't matter whether we are wild or domestic cats. What do you think? Would you like to be like us sometimes? Goodbye, and don't forget your friends, the cats. <laughs>